Taurus, it is October 29th, 2022, Saturday morning, and it's 3.17 a.m. here in Texas. I'm going to pull a couple of Kipper cards out for you guys before we get going here with the tarot. What does Taurus need to know? Sudden wealth and mature woman. Those are good cards, Taurus. Sudden wealth, mature woman. Watch, or that can be a man too. Um, lucky, lucky time right now. On the bottom of the deck, you have official person. So this may be a person in your life, someone who works in uh, some type of an official position. This Taurus need to know. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And let <coughs> <coughs> sorry, Taurus. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So there may be a certain situation here where you feel out of control and it's difficult. Let's see what the tarot cards say for today, Taurus. So you're starting off here, wow. Look at that, there you are Taurus. The Hierophant is Taurus energy. And behind it we have the Ten of Cups and the Star already. Aquarius energy with the Star and the Ten of Cups. Complete happiness here. Let's see what's going on. A lot of happiness coming into your life. You're walking away from something, and we're going to go back and clarify like we always do and see what's going on. We have the Two of Swords, the Emperor, Aries Energy, Libra Energy with Justice, and the center card of your reading is the Ten of Wands. the world. I still see cycles closing for you guys. The three of wands, definitely. Things are changing. Let me move these cards so you can see your tarot. Things are changing. Things are moving for Taurus. And that's difficult for you because Taurus energy is <clears throat> the type of energy that likes stability, likes to know where you're heading. And I'm seeing you blindfolded here. You like that grounded, stable energy. We have Ten of Swords. And the Nine of Cups. On the bottom of the deck, of course, we have Death. There's something here ending a major transformation in your life that I keep seeing. This is Scorpio energy, but the the thing is, is in the background here, the sun is rising. There's a new day. There's um, something beautiful. The sun is the happiest card in the tarot deck. 
and the sun is right behind death. It's like you're walking through some type of a passage here. As you're, you can see, you're, you're on your way someplace. But with the Two of Swords, you may feel blindfolded as to what direction this is, where you're headed. Uncertainty. Why is the Eight of Cups here? We have the Moon. See, the Moon is dark also. It's vague. A lot of uncertainty with the Moon. Everything's not illuminated there. There's a pathway in front of you. And there's a healing energy. The Four of Swords is healing in your emotions right now. Wow. I mean, the Eight of Swords now. You feel like your hands are tied here, Taurus. Um, there's a situation going on that keeps you up in your mind and in your head and you feel like there's nothing you can do about it and that's why the next card here is the two of swords your your swords are pointing in two different directions which are your thoughts wondering should i go this way or should i go that way now we have the two of pentacles a decision needs to be made because when you're in this energy with the Two of Swords, this is an energy where you need to take action. This is stuck. In order to get out of this, you need to take some type of an action. And you keep going back and forth in your mind about this. Which way to go? One minute you um, are thinking one, one direction. I'm going this way for sure. You're holding on to something. I'm not going to let go of it. And then you... Um, there's an unbalance. And then you're wanting to go the other way. See? There's this... The devil is Capricorn energy. And this is a feeling of safety. And the only reason it's a feeling of safety is because it's something that you know. It's uh, something that you know is toxic, but you've been there. You can, you can see it. You already know what it is. So it's a feeling of feeling comfortable like... Um, picking up... A, a cigarette and then another cigarette and then another cigarette or being stuck in a toxic relationship that you know it's not going anywhere but yet there is this fear of walking into the unknown and so you stay there because this is safety We have the King of Pentacles and the Two of Wands to clarify the Emperor. I feel like your mind is, with the Emperor and the King of Pentacles here, your mind is clearly telling you here, Taurus, that it's time to choose this new direction. You want to find the sun. You want to find your happiness. You're holding your world in your hands and... It's time to choose a new path because something here has come to a dead end. And that is that King of Pentacles, it's it's your comfort zone. But there's someone here in your energy that just doesn't care who they hurt. They just want to win. And so in the background here, I see you feeling a sense of defeat. And the reason defeat is here is because this person right here, um, it's like the words you taught, you speak to them, you try to speak logic to them, and it just goes straight over they, their head. They are, this is a very cold energy, and it's a five, and fives represent change. So that's what you're doing is you're walking away from someone here in your life. 
And then we have justice. So I'm seeing you receiving good news, Taurus. The Page of Wands is a card. This is a messenger, and this is good news. And it has to do with some type of truth coming to light with justice. The scales being made right, something being made fair. And I want to clarify this magician to see if this is you or this other person. Why is the magician here? Yeah, this is you manifesting, walking, you know, the magician is number one. And this is starting down that new path, manifesting what you want to put into your world. And you are in the Knight of Pentacles energy here, so you're moving slowly. This is the slowest moving knight in the tarot deck. So you're moving slowly towards a new beginning and manifesting. And you do have all the tools you need to, to accomplish what you want to accomplish. You just need to start moving here. And some of you already have with the timeline I see here. Why is the Ten of Wands here? The Sun, Leo energy. The happiest card in the tarot deck. The Queen of Swords. And we have the Hierophant. Um... There's, there's a lot in your life right now that you're carrying around, Taurus, with the Ten of Wands. But I feel like a lot of this energy that you're carrying around on your back, you can put down some of it and go back to it later. But for right now, um, you may need to put down some of these burdens or some weight that you're carrying around here. There's a lot of weight here. The divine is with you. The hierophant is here, which is your energy. And um, there's a lesson that you've learned. Something has come to light. Something is not going to be hidden from you any longer. And you're showing up here as the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is someone who knows the truth. Um, the Queen of Swords, male or female, will let you speak to her. But you better tell her the truth because she already knows the truth. Especially with the sun here. The truth is there and there's a lesson that has been learned. But the sun is going to illuminate everything so that you can see clearly. So you're not stuck in your mind like this anymore. And under the influence of the moon. Alright, because I'm seeing here you walking away. But it's moonlight. But then the sun is coming in. And there's very strong energy there telling me that, that you're seeing the path and the way forward soon. Why is the world here? See, the, the Empress is here. So more than likely, um, for someone watching me, this was a marriage. That there's a divorce or some type of legal matter happening, a separation. Seven of Cups. That has left you confused. There's confusion here about how to move forward. This is Cancer Energy, the Chariot, and you're like um, inside of this shell protecting yourself, but gaining control and moving forward and turning your back on the energy that we just saw, the Ten of Swords, an ending that's going to lead to wish fulfillment. Why is the Three of Wands here? Death. See, you're just waiting for it. Someone who's watching me right now, is, is this isn't for everyone, but there's someone specific here that I feel I'm connecting with you. You're just waiting for this to happen. You're waiting for this ending to happen. And it's death is an uncomfortable energy. 
because you don't know what's next, which is going, um, going kind of against, you know, Taurus loves to be grounded and know which direction you're going in. But the, the cards and spirit are telling you right here, the sun is just over the horizon. It's like there's this path that's going to lead you to happiness. And then we have the Ten of Swords. So this is a painful ending. A difficult ending. We have the High Priestess. I feel like you're keeping this pain to yourself. You're not really revealing it to a lot of people. You may be dealing with a Pisces with the High Priestess showing up. Um, but this pain is something that you're... You know, you're not, you have it hidden behind the veil here. In other words, you're not, you're putting on this straight face, looking happy, looking like everything's fine, but the pain is there behind the veil. And the Wheel of Fortune is here. So divine timing has stepped in and <clears throat> in telling you that, there is a new direction you're supposed to be going in in this lifetime and now is the time for you to start on this new journey it's going to lead you to your ten of cups this is complete happiness not wanting for anything more why is the nine of cups here this is happy home happy family the ten of pentacles the four of cups and the five of wands and that's what you're not seeing with the moon is we have the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles this is your happily ever after right here that is going down this new path but you're leaving something behind here where it literally feels like something's missing there's only eight cups standing and so it's difficult to leave but the fighting the ghosting the arguments the coldness the cold shoulder um, is leading you to where you're supposed to go Taurus do not miss this opportunity something something huge is happening here in divine timing so have strength all right, have strength, and this is Leo energy, but you need to be strong right now. I keep seeing it in your energy, Taurus. You've been up in your head. There's worry here, but the divine has showed up here in your reading very strongly, and you are being guided. You are being protected. <clears throat> Okay, let's see what your spirit guide wants to tell you. Let's get an angel answer card. Does Taurus need to know? The answer is no. Okay, and then let's get one more. Ask one more question. Trust. You need to have trust right now. Um, the way you can tell is you'll start seeing repeating numbers like 222, 1111, just repeating numbers, Taurus. And on the bottom of the deck, you have perfect timing. So this is, this is meant to happen right now at this time, what's happening in your life. And so trust and have faith. And let me get your Moonology cards here for advice. We have Don't Let Pride Get in Your Way, Full Moon and Leo. Take Time to Breathe Out, Disseminating Moon. And on the bottom of the deck, you have Communication is Key, New Moon and Gemini. All right, Taurus, so this is... Um, your energy it's a general reading so take what resonates and leave the rest but this is your taurus energy here um that is shining through 
I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. And um, I will see you tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.